are you guys doing? How are you doing? Uh, we're doing good. Uh, we've, we've had a fun day here so far. Uh, we played the 11.15 a.m. slot at uh, Sauna Sphere. At the Apollo main stage stage. Uh, you know, I don't, I'm not going to lie, that was a little early for me. But not for 3,000 black, chested, long hair metal freaks out here. It wasn't, it wasn't early enough for them. So you guys are just coming into the UK market now, really, aren't you? You're just Ab absolutely. Yeah. And this is our kind of first taste of it, really. Uh, we came over here earlier this year with uh, the band called Cobra Starship and uh, did some touring with those guys. But this is kind of our first time ever really seeing what the UK has. And we're, we're kind of asking ourselves, what are we doing at a metal festival? <laughs> But at the same time, we're also going like, wow, this is cool. So do you find you're fitting in okay? Yeah, I mean, yeah. nobody was booing or throwing bottles at us. So, uh, you know, and people stayed. And it looked like people dug it. So uh, we're, we're absolutely, you know. Yeah, I seem to mix kind of electro stuff. Yeah. We had yeah. snap. Wicked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a bit of Thriller. We, uh, yeah. we got some snap music in there. We got some electro. How did you get this gig? I don't know how we got this gig. It's just our first festival ever, so we're... we're ever? Just, yeah, over here. Oh, okay. Not ever. Not ever. We played some in the States, but this is our first, like, UK festival. So it must be, a, must be a pretty big honor for you to, to headline, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah. to, to, to start out on the main on stage, the main stage. Yeah, I mean, we, that's, I think that's why we took it. We were like, wow, you know, we heard, like, Lady Gaga and... Last year, uh, some of our good friends fly leave and stuff, so we're like, all right, if they didn't get booed off the stage or whatever, then maybe we can go over, you know. Not that we're friends with Gaga, but if, uh, you can call me, call me Gaga. Uh, so if people over here, people that won't have heard your, you know, your performances or heard your music, what, how would you describe your sound? It's already around here. Uh, we're, I mean, we're from the ATL, so we got a new What's the ATL? Problem. Atlanta, A Town Down, Atlanta, Georgia, USA. Um, Jermaine Dupree, Janet Jackson, Jackson yeah. Andre 3000, Blue Outcast. Chris. I know you metalheads will never know who that is, but, uh, but we got a we got a hip hop background and uh, kind of just we're a melting pot. Everybody was to something different. And it just kind of melds into this awesome like electro hip hop. What do you listen to them? Uh, I listen to, a, we listen to a lot of Missy Elliott. I mean, we grew up in Atlanta, so I mean, there's hip hop all around. It doesn't matter if you're black or white, it's just like, it's always there. So there's always T.I., uh, Outcast, Outcast, Outcast uh, and then like Rage Against the Machine, Beastie Boys, uh, definitely some Metallica. Uh, and then you got, a, you got a big punk influence. I mean, that's the thing, we play a lot of warp tour. This festival. I mean, is there anyone that you're looking at, looking forward to seeing while you're here? Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, the crew, Motley Crue, and uh, Romstein. Uh, we, it's been a while since we uh, both have sang the Lost together. Probably since it came out. Yeah, probably since it came out. In the USA. <laughs> Which was so many years ago, but uh, just, we played on their stage today and we got to see what was behind the curtain. I was like, oh my god. I gotta see what Romstein's doing with all this stuff. That's all I can say. It's just a bunch of stuff up there that looks really cool. And tomorrow we go to uh, the Underage Festival and we get to see what MIA is doing. So that's pretty cool. We're excited about that. So going back to the beginnings, to people who, who aren't you know, so known of you, how did you guys get together? Because three of you are brothers. Is that right? Well, we got together by... Uh,
States for hardcore for about three years, so we were like, hey, I wonder what, you know, what people in the UK would think of us if they think we're really crappy or really awesomely crappy. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got an album coming out. Uh, is it early next year? Yes, early here. next year is going to be our third album. And uh, right now we've got an album out that's called Dance or Die. It's our second album that we put out by ourselves. And so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a fun ride. I mean, we're, we're absolutely honored that we're at a festival at all. You know, festival. And to be on the main stage yeah, as well. Yeah, especially on the main stage. Bees, we're, bees, we're, don't <laughs> sting. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're really excited. And if we get stung by this bee, then you'll get to see us in pain. <laughs> Single out? A single? Yeah. Uh, here on the second album? In the UK, basically. Um, I think BBC rotated a song called Fever for a couple months, and then uh, I don't know if Dancer Dies is going to be on the, on the uh, playlist or not, but we're hoping. If not, then we're going to probably smash something out of the park for uh, record number three. So everybody will be like, oh man, I've got to get a pint with Family Force 5, or I've got to destroy Family Force 5. Either either way, haters, lovers, we want them all. Hey, you've changed your name over the years as well, haven't you? There's, um, there's a bit of a name change to, to finally end up on Family Force 5. Well, with Family that. Force 5 is probably like a five-year-old band, and uh, we, uh, it was the family first with a PH because we thought we were fat, you know. Like, like that kind of thing. <laughs> but Prince had a band called The Family, so we couldn't use that. I would have picked a better name, but you know, people just started calling us that, and we kept going. But and uh, it sounds like a giant robot, and watching a lot of Power Rangers at that time, and some Voltron at the same time. Just kind of wanted to be there. Yeah. We're just like, what would a giant robot do to connect? They would make a band called Family Force Fire, right? That's you, what happened. You've got some interesting nicknames as well, I've read. Yeah. How yeah, did they yeah. come about? Well, once again, we're from Atlanta, where, you know, Outcast is, you are our heroes. So you got Big Boy and Andre 3000, which are not their real names. So we were like, all right, my, my Hebrew given name is Solomon, and his is Jacob. And I was just like, that's just, those are really cool. But what if I had a name like Soul Glow Activator? <laughs> I have, I have. Scantron or something. Uh, I gotta go back and see if I can like, copyright Scantron yeah. and get a change. Well, legally changed. Yeah, I'm legally oh changed. Oh my gosh, dude, that dude totally bees. landed on you. These <laughs> bees don't sting you. It's after you, mate. So, have you guys got any other appearances in the UK coming up? Yes, any? Uh, we have. We're doing. We're actually doing our run right now. Uh, we play. Uh, uh, bees about to sting. We, uh, we play um, Underage Festival tomorrow, uh, and then we have a couple of dates in London, um, one in Garage, uh, and Slate, I have no idea. Then we're doing Wolverhampton and a couple other, pretty much an eight, eight to ten day run over here in the UK. So what can someone look forward to from those gigs? Uh, sweaty dance party. Yeah, sweaty dance party, or you can either mosh, that's the thing with Family Force 5, you can either like throw elbows and hurt people to it, or you can make that booty clap. And, uh, that's, it's fun to make the booty clap. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's much more important than hurting people. A lot of people enjoy that more.